Let's start doing our task 4 now. And here we have to find out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the 2 by 2 square matrix A given to us using the determinant method. So we have to first use the characteristic equation that's determinant of a minus lambda times i is equal to zero and so let's calculate first a minus lambda times i so a minus lambda times i is equal to so a is 10 9 2 3 minus lambda times the identity matrix is 1 0 0 1 and if you solve that further so you have a here which is 10 9 2 3 minus if you multiply the lambda inside that identity matrix here so you will get lambda times 1 is lambda and lambda times 0 is 0 and then lambda times 0 is 0 here and lambda times 1 is lambda here so if you subtract both of them you will get 10 minus lambda 2 minus 0 is 2 and then you have 9 minus 0 is 9 and 3 minus lambda so now we have to find out the determinant of this. So we have to find out the determinant of 10 minus lambda, 2, 9, and 3 minus lambda. So we have to multiply opposite numbers here. So we have 10 minus lambda times 3 minus lambda and we'll subtract it 2 times 9 will be subtracted from it so this gives us here 10 times 3 is 3 minus 10 times minus lambda is minus 10 lambda and then minus lambda times 3 is minus 3 lambda and then you have minus times minus lambda times minus lambda which is plus lambda squared minus 18 here and then now if you simplify this you will get here lambda squared so minus 10 lambda minus 3 lambda is minus 13 lambda and 30 minus 18 is 12 so this if we equate it to 0 this is a quadratic equation here and we can solve it using the quadratic formula to get the values of lambda 1 and 2 here so the quadratic formula is if you want to get the values of lambda 1 and 2 basically let me write the quadratic formula so quadratic formula is minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a so here instead of the x we'll get our lambda values because it's a quadratic equation so we'll have two lambda values that's why I'm writing one comma two minus our b so the b here is minus 13 that's the b a is 1 and c is plus 12 so we have here minus 13 as the b plus minus square root of b squared and b is minus 13 
squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 12 divided by 2 times a which is 1 so this gives us 13 plus minus eleven divided by two so we can say our lambda one is thirteen plus eleven divided by two which is twelve and our lambda two is thirteen minus eleven divided by two which is one so these are our two lambda values or you can say the two eigenvalues so you can if you want you can write it down so the eigenvalues are twelve and one now we have to find out our eigenvectors for our um for each of this uh, eigenvalue here, we have to find out its eigenvector. So let us start working for the first eigenvalue, 12. For to find out the eigenvector, we have to solve the equation a minus lambda i times the vector x is equal to zero, and here our lambda will be 12. Now, first let us solve this part of the equation, which is a minus the value of lambda for us is known now, which is 12 times the identity matrix. So you have your matrix A, which is 10, 9, 2, and 3, minus 12 times the identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1. So that will be again 10 9 2 3 minus when you multiply the 12 inside the identity matrix here you will get 12 times 1 is 12 12 times 0 is 0 12 times 0 is 0 and 12 times 1 is 12 so that gives us um, let me write it on the next page here so that will give us the value as minus 2, 2, 9, and minus 9. So after this, in the lecture, I have taught you very simply how to uh, go to the vector value. But then I want to include something different in the tutorial. And I would like you to do the examples or the tasks finding eigenvalue and eigenvectors this way here so once we reach this part here we will do row operations to make this matrix here into row echelon form so to make this into row echelon form we have to take here the row 2 and add it to row 1 and put everything into row 2 all right so we'll get here now for this so we have we're not changing the row 1 we're keeping it as it is for row 2 we are adding both and keeping the value here so 2 minus 2 is 0 and 9 minus 9 is 0 so in Rochelon form if you have any rows which is completely of zero it should be at the bottom of the matrix and if you have any um non-zero integer it should be um at the right side of the pivot point of the previous line or previous row so here now we have got this in rochelon form we can use this here now the matrix which is minus 2 9 0 0 times our unknown vector which is x1 and x2 is equal to the zero vector which is 0 0 
So we have here minus 2 times x1 plus 9 times x2 is equal to 0. And so you can see here that x1 is equal to minus 9 times x2 divided by minus 2. So this gets cancelled and we have x1 is 9 divided by 2x2. So we can say that let x2 equal to 1. And in that case, we will have x1 would be equal to 9 divided by 2 times 1. So x1 will be 9 divided by 2 here. And x2 we have considered it to be 1. So the solution vector for lambda is equal to 12. The eigenvector is x1 is 9 over 2 and we have here 1. So that's the eigenvector. Now we have to find out the eigenvector for lambda is equal to 1. So for that we have to again solve the equation a minus lambda i times the unknown vector x is equal to 0. For lambda is equal to 1 now. So this is our lambda 2. And first let us solve again this part here. So we have a minus lambda. We know the value is 1 times the identity matrix. So we have a is 10, 9, 2, 3. And minus 1 times the IGD matrix is IGD matrix itself. So if you subtract now, you have 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 minus 0 is 9, 2 minus 0 is 2, and 3 minus 1 is 2. So now we'll do our row operations to make it into the row echelon form here. And we can do the row operation here as row 2 minus 2 over 9 times row 1 and we'll put the values in row 2. So that gives us here 9, 9 and 0, 0 times now the unknown vector will be equal to 0, 0. So, if we start to solve this, we have here 9 times x1 plus 9 times x2 is equal to 0. And if we write x1 in terms of x2, so we'll have here, let's say 9 times x1 is minus 9 times x2. And x1 will be minus 9 times x2 divided by 9. So, this cancels and we have x1 is minus x2. Now if we say that let x2 equal to 1, in that case we'll have x1 is minus 1, replacing x2 with 1. So we got x2 as 1 and x1 as minus 1 here. So the eigenvector for lambda is equal to 2, sorry 1 is x1 is minus 1 and x2 is 1. So we have got the two eigenvectors for the two eigenvalues.